The woman in the upper left-hand corner is Candace Taylor. If you don't know who Candace Taylor is, that's not surprising. So let me tell you all about her. In 2022, she decided to run for governor of Georgia. She ran in the Republican primary and got blown out of the water. She netted 3.4% of the vote, came in third place, and called the election rigged because of course she would. These days, she's doing something a little bit different. She's promoting the flat earth nonsense, but she's also still involved in politics. She could have a future in politics, as wild as that sounds. She is currently the Republican chair of Georgia's first district. That kind of position is often a way to jump into politics and gain elected office. So be on the lookout for Candace Taylor. In the future, we may just have another Marjorie Taylor Greene sort of thing happening here. I notice it's always people with Taylor in the name for some reason, but I digress. Let's watch the video and see what she has to say about the flat earth. I said that it was globes everywhere, there's propaganda, but it's the truth. And you know how many people who don't believe in flat earth, they believe, in, they believe that we're, you know, in a solar system. They reach out to me, they're like, Candace, you know what, you're right. I have been looking in stores and there are globes everywhere. Oh, so surprising, isn't it? It's so surprising that there would be globes in stores. You know, globes look cool, first of all. You can put one on a shelf or a desk and it just immediately makes things that much cooler because globes are awesome. Another thing, they're a very useful teaching tool. You can get a globe and teach your child about the world. I suspect Candace's parents didn't do that for her for a lot of reasons. But why is that shocking? Why is that surprising? What's the conspiracy here about the globe being sold in stores? What is it? Like there are globe toys and there's globes in the decorations. And you said that on your show and people thought you were crazy, but it's true. Why are they pushing the globes? And I said, why are they pushing the globes? has to be one of the most asinine statements I have ever heard, and I am frankly amazed that we are talking about this. But we have to talk about this, because the Flat Earth movement, as it were, as a religious Christian movement, is growing for some reason beyond me. I don't see why it's so important. I don't see why it matters that much. This is not like evolution, where evolution just sort of undoes the story of Adam and Eve, and if you're a fundamentalist, you can't stand that. The shape of the earth really has no bearing on the Bible whatsoever. The earth is described many ways in the Bible, and I don't think it's really described as being flat in the Bible. People back then knew that the earth was round, and as they learned more, their depictions of the earth in the text changed to meet those. So I don't get the great conspiracy here, I don't get why it matters, but to these people it matters a lot. Apparently your children are being propagandized too about the shape of the earth with toys. Jesus Christ, this is real. She's serious. This is not a joke. Well, I think it's because of NASA and wanting to spend billions of dollars a month. Okay, let's, let's just stop here for a second because NASA does not spend billions of dollars a month. I think NASA's budget was something like $8 billion recently a year. Uh, that's a year compared to the defense budget, which is about $800 billion a year. So about, you know, what, a uh, hundred times as much? And so the, the expenditures on NASA are not very extreme, and they have incredible results. The amount of technology we've gotten from NASA ventures has just been astounding. It's affected everything from how we communicate with each other through the internet, uh, to the types of computers we have, to the portability of computers, to the GPS systems we use to get around, to everything. Literally everything in our daily life has been affected positively by spending large amounts of money on space programs. She's acting like they're just throwing money away, putting globes in buildings and in schools and in businesses like, you know, for sale. I don't think NASA does that, first of all. Second of all, would it really be that much of a problem if they did? Um, considering all the advancements we get from them spending money on science and technology. Again, I cannot believe I am having to discuss this in the year 2023. If this were the year 1523, okay, then maybe I could understand having to explain this stuff to people. But this year, currently, humans are literally like on the precipice of having like commercial flights to space. And soon enough, it may be affordable to the average person and not just millionaires and billionaires. It's very ironic that as we are on the cusp of passenger space flights, these flat earthers appear to say, well, no, that's not real. 
but they try to say that I'm crazy because I... You are. Sorry. Uh, I hate to be mean, but you absolutely are. Said that, and they still go on my social media and my comments, and they say, are you seeing globes everywhere, Candace? Are you seeing globes? I'm like, yeah, I am. Okay, I just want to say, I don't encourage anyone to harass anybody else. I disapprove of that. Do not go to any of Candace Taylor's social media and ask her if she's still seeing globes everywhere. Do not do that. Listen to me very carefully. I need you to not do that. And if you have done it before, though, in the past, uh, feel free to tell me about it in the comments because that sounds hilarious. But don't do it after seeing this video. But if you did it in the past, perfectly fine to tell me all about it. Okay, I guess that's all of that uh, abysmal clip. Thankfully, it was very mercifully short, but I do want to say another thing about Candace Taylor because I have been on something of a uh, Taylor Swift kick recently in my videos because I think the right wing has been absolutely hysterical about Taylor Swift and everything she does, and I find it a mix of funny and sad and all kinds of different feelings, so let's talk about that. Candace Taylor actually did this tweet recently. It is an incredible tweet accusing Taylor of witchcraft, which is a pretty common accusation these days against almost anybody, but especially Taylor Swift. So let's check out that tweet. This is the tweet in question, so let's read it together and see what she has to say. Did you really just praise your fans for making videos with your music and casting spells at Taylor Swift 13? What is wrong with you? I was a fan from day one and loved how much you grew in your singing ability. I love that you write your own music. My daughter has grown up dancing with me to your song, singing to the top of our lungs, and attending your concerts. I have heard from others that attended this last tour that you had some satanic nods at your show or in your show. I didn't want to believe it. After all, I know you've claimed to love Jesus. I know you claim to be a Christian. Now you've not only drifted and backslid, you're celebrating witchcraft, you're influencing innocent minds to be enticed with the dark side of spirituality. The word of God that you once confessed is clear. It is better to tie a milestone, I think she meant millstone, uh, around your neck than to let one of the children fall. I am so beyond disappointed. I am literally SMH. She is literally SMH. I pray that you repent. I pray that something pricks your heart. You have been gifted a huge platform. It didn't just happen. God breathed on this. He can remove his hand and leave you to the witchcraft and your own devices. Let's see how much Lucifer cares about you or your career. I promise he doesn't. In a way, it's almost admirable how dedicated they are to demonizing everything they don't like as being hardcore witchcraft. As I've discussed before, it's just artistry. But let's go through this a little bit more closely and actually respond to some of the things she says. Did you really just praise your fans for making music videos, casting spells, blah, blah, blah? Um, why does that matter? Uh, I'd say some of them are serious, but Taylor Swift uh, doesn't have to believe in that to think it's kind of cool that they would do that. Now, I think it's kind of silly because I don't believe in that stuff, and really that should be your response too. It's kind of silly, it's not going to make a difference, these are probably just teenagers or people in their early 20s trying to find themselves and doing witchcraft in some general way. It's not that serious, it's not that important, and Taylor probably just thinks, oh cool, my fans love me. Um, let's see what else we can talk about here. Uh, Satanic nods. What does satanic nods mean here exactly? I saw some video, I don't know if it was like AI generated or if it's real or whatever, but she was taking off like a demonic looking mask and like, so what dude? Like, you ever heard of Halloween? People dress up as the devil for Halloween and nobody's like accusing them of being Satanists or whatever for dressing up like that for Halloween. Again, I'm not sure if that video was real. I didn't pay close attention. It just like passed my feed. But, like, it's not that serious. It's not important. It's not, like, she is not a Satanist, uh, and it didn't matter. It wouldn't matter if she is. That's her business, not ours, as I've said repeatedly over and over. In general, all of this stuff is just sad and depressing because it's so completely ridiculous. Um, let's see. In the word of God, you confessed, blah, blah, blah. I am literally SMH. She's literally SMH. I don't know why that's so funny to me. I'm sorry, but it is. I pray that you repent, blah, blah, blah. He can remove his hand and leave you to the witchcraft in your own devices. Let's see how much Lucifer cares about your, your career. I promise he doesn't. Well, here's the thing. Um, 
you can say God gave Taylor Swift this amazing career, but that seemed like maybe he made a mistake there if she's going to be like a satanic witch or something, because uh, he would have known that, wouldn't he? Maybe he could have made somebody else like that famous, maybe like a gospel artist or something who would just like stick to his word and all that good stuff. So that seems like an oversight on his part. Um, when it comes to how much Lucifer cares, well, let's see here. We've got bands like Tool and Metallica that are pretty big, Slayer, uh, bands like that, pretty big. Uh, I don't really like Tool that much, but bands like that, pretty big bands that aren't like Christian in, in like any way. I, Tool has atheists. Uh, again, not a fan, but they are a really big, popular, important band. If Lucifer cares about bands like that, since I'm assuming God doesn't in this scenario, I don't see why Taylor Swift would be exempt. I mean, look at Kanye. Does it get more evil than what Kanye has become? And yet, he is still a very popular person, still a cultural icon, and sadly, honestly, still makes absolute bangers. Uh, that new track of his, kind of anti-Semitic, kind of influenced by a black metal band named Burzum, which is uh, also very dark, and the singer of it is literally a Nazi. So there's that. Uh, but good song, aside from all the weird stuff about it. Um, and, I, and I mean, that's like proof right there. Like, okay, so Lucifer isn't really having a negative career impact on Kanye, who has just gone down the rabbit hole of full-on Nazi insanity. So uh, I don't really, like get what she's saying or why she's saying it, but, like, this person does not strike me as being very serious or very intelligent, so that's probably why. I just wanted to cover this little tweet because these people are obsessed with just being all about how bad Taylor Swift is, and it's really miserable. But more than that, I just like pointing out some of the abysmal things Candace Taylor has said, but thankfully that's all we've got of Candace. Uh, if you find anything that you want to see me cover of Candace's, I encourage you to send it to me because, I don't know, man, maybe I like the pain. If you enjoyed this video somehow, thank you for watching it. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like. If you have a comment, negative, positive, please leave it. I will respond to it. If you want to see this channel grow so I can be subjected to more misery of this sort and others, please subscribe, like, and comment for the algorithms. And I hope you have a better day, night, or whatever than I'm going to have after watching this abysmal nonsense. Thank you.